Episode 56, JW, October 15, 2023. A homecoming bonfire ends, TB and Elderly and PM 2.5, Chicago Latinos and PM 2.5, Wildfires Linger. Wyoming State University ends homecoming bonfire WSU ends homecoming bonfire tradition, local, bigcountrynewsconnection.com excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a non-profit organization. WSU banned wood burning on campus permanently in the fall of 2021. Periodic campus burn bans over the years, during dry falls, prevented some. Pullman this weekend is homecoming at Washington State University, but the traditional homecoming bonfire pep rally will not be happening this year. The WSU Alumni Association's Executive Director Mariah Maki says that fire restrictions have led to the group ending the tradition. WSU banned wood burning on campus permanently in the fall of 2021. Periodic campus burn bans over the years, during dry falls, prevented some homecoming bonfires. The bonfire has also been lit with special permission during burn bans. Tuberculosis in the elderly and PM 2.5 ambient PM 2.5 linked to TB reactivation in the elderly multidisciplinary MIMS multidisciplinary MIMS excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a nonprofit organization. PM 2.5 Concentration a total of 52,623 active pulmonary TB cases, age, greater than or equal to 15 years, from a TB notification registry were included in the SPACIO. The overall consistent, stable, and significant association patterns among the elderly suggested that increased TB reactivations might have occurred after high ambient PM2.5 exposure. Sensitivity analysis among those aged greater than or equal to 75 years revealed an even stronger pattern of association, highlighted the researchers. A spatiotemporal analysis by researchers from the Chinese University of Hong Kong finds significant associations between high ambient particulate matter, PM, 2.5 concentration and increased rates of pulmonary tuberculosis, TB, among the elderly. Hong Kong is a densely populated metropolitan city with a disproportionately high TB burden of greater than 120 per 100,000 among people aged greater than or equal to 65 years, a population where nearly all TB cases are estimated to occur due to reactivation. Epidemial Infect 2008, 136-943-952, PLOS 1-2010-5, E10468, Facing the problems of local street-level pollution and regional smog from the Pearl River Delta region, the PM2.5 concentration in Hong. Chicago Latinos and PM2.5 This is how air pollution in Chicago takes a toll on Latino neighborhoods, Latin Times excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a nonprofit organization. Particulate matter, PM, is a term used to describe the mixture of solid particles of dust, dirt, soot, or smoke found in the air. PM 2.5 is particularly dangerous for people, as the particles are small enough in diameter to be inhaled. According to the EPA, sources such as smokestacks and construction sites can emit particulate matter. In 2020, Chicago commissioned a study to analyze air quality and health around the city and found that air quality in underserved communities of color was significantly worse than in white, affluent neighborhoods. And as a result, Latino and Black residents have an increased risk of contracting chronic illnesses due to the high levels of PM2.5 in their communities. Chicago map showing air quality across the city. Regions in the south and west sides, which are predominantly Black and brown communities, have the worse air quality. Despite the findings, former Mayor Lori Lightfoot facilitated the relocation of General Iron, a metal shredding and recycling facility, from the affluent Lincoln Park neighborhood to a majority Latino neighborhood on the south side. General Iron has a long history of complaints for causing loud explosions and excessive air emissions. In response to the announcement that the facility would relocate to the south side, community groups organized and protested the decision. Several community members even staged a month long hunger strike against the relocation. Eventually, a judge denied the facility's operating permit and prevented the facility from opening. In the McKinley Park neighborhood, an area with a large number of Hispanic families, residents faced a similar struggle when MAT Asphalt, an asphalt plant that opened in 2018 next to a school, community park and residential area. The plant remains open despite incurring fines for air pollution and operating without a permit. Recently, blotched smokestack demolition in the Little Village neighborhood blanketed the community in a thick fog for several hours. 
In the 1990s, when the city used North Lawndale, a majority black neighborhood, as an illegal dumping group and created a six story mountain of debris. In October, a judge once again blocked General Iron from opening after it argued in circuit court that it should be allowed to open. And residents potentially have an ally in the city's mayor, Brandon Johnson. Johnson, who was elected as a progressive, stated throughout his campaign that environmental justice would be a big part of his agenda. During a budget meeting, he proposed re establishing the city's Department of Environment, which was removed as a money saving effort in 2012. Colorado State University October 13, 2023 Wildfire smoke permeates walls of homes Research shows wildfire smoke may linger in homes long after initial blaze, viz.org, to better understand how smoke enters and then stays in buildings, researchers burned pine wood chips in a net-zero energy residential testing. Wildfire smoke leaves harmful gases in floors and walls. Research shows air purifiers don't stop it. CBS News and CASA, we studied what happens when pollutants and chemicals get inside our homes, pesticides, smog and even wood smoke. Using a cocktail smoker. Wildfire smoke lingers in homes long after the fire is over Earth.com The aftermath of wildfires may be more dangerous than previously thought, with smoke potentially lingering in homes. At this facility, pine wood. Research shows wildfire smoke may linger in homes long after initial blaze by Colorado State University excerpts edited by Rosep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a nonprofit organization. CSU postdoctoral fellow led an aerosol measurement experiment that introduced wildfire smoke into the home. Newly published research on indoor air quality from Colorado State University shows wildfire smoke may linger in homes long after the initial blaze has been put out or winds have shifted. The findings, published in Science Advances, show that wildfire smoke can attach to home surfaces like carpet, drapes, or counters, extending the exposure for those inside and potentially causing health problems even after an initial cleaning activity by air purifiers. However, Professor Delphine Farmer said the research also shows that simple surface cleaning, like vacuuming, dusting, or mopping, can reduce exposure and limit risk. The research illustrates the hidden and persistent health threats many in the western U.S. are facing, given the increase in wildfires over the last decade. Wood burning and women's lung cancer Women's lung cancer risk jumps by huge 43% from wood burning inside the mirror. The mirror, as concerns grow over the dangers of wood smoke in our homes, new research revealed that using wood burners can increase the risk of lung cancer. PM2.5 and cardiovascular mortality and racial disparities Racial disparities in air pollution associated cardiovascular mortality in the USA Nature Ambient Fine Particulate Matter Air Pollution, PM2.5, is a significant risk factor for mortality, particularly from cardiovascular diseases. World and PM 2.5 new study reveals alarming factor linked to 400,000 deaths annually, a severe public health crisis. Yahoo News The findings are troubling because the air pollution includes particulates, tiny particles forest fires and wood stoves can cause particulate. United States, National Association of Manufacturers Against Lowering NAAQS Safe Limit. Nom to EPA, don't change NAAQS standards, National Association of Manufacturers additionally. The EPA data show that PM2.5 air quality has improved 43% between 2000 and 2020. The new regulations, the EPA's new standards would. California, Santa Rosa, wildfire wildfire hearing held in Santa Rosa with North Coast Jim Wood time standard. As of Monday, it was 95% contained with 94,620 acres burning, though Wood noted this year has seen a relatively light fire season. Smoke from fires. Hawaii News releases from Department of Health, validated EPA air sampling data shows good air quality. Hawaii State Department of Health, Hawaii.gov PM 2.5 is particulate matter that is 0.0025 mm and smaller in size, about 30 times smaller than a human hair, that can be a component of Hawaii. Maui EPA sampling shows good air quality, but caution still urged Maui News PM 2.5 is particulate matter about 30 times smaller than a human hair and can be a component of ash, dust, smoke and air pollution. Short term. Raws up view, providing the elderly and any other main resident with firewood rather than clean energy sources like heat pumps only creates more health problems and early deaths in a main community. Maine, Down East Wood Bank offered unseasoned wood bank on it, Down East Wood Bank offers lifeline for people facing heating crises The Ellsworth American excerpts edited by Rosep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates Corporation, a non-profit organization.
contacted by an 80-year-old woman who had just relocated to the area, and upon moving into her new house found there was no firewood with which to heat it. She reached out to several commercial dealers of firewood, only to find that what they were offering was unseasoned wood best suited for burning in the next heating season. With few other options available, she turned to the Down East Wood Bank. Heading into its third winter of operation, the Wood Bank serves the towns of Blue Hill, Brooklyn, Sedgwick, and Surrey, and this year is adding Ellsworth to its service area. Its base of operations is on land owned by Blue Hill Heritage Trust, an invaluable partner for the Wood Bank. Officials there said it fit perfectly with the Trust's mission, which is, in part, to promote ecological, economic, and community health for this and future generations. There is no income eligibility criteria to get firewood from the Wood Bank. Donations of fallen trees are not uncommon, towns have contacted the Wood Bank when a large tree falls in a cemetery, for example. Down East Wood Bank only deals with fallen trees, they will not cut down standing trees, hardwoods that are free of rot the Wood Bank is building a large woodshed. In addition to firewood, the structure will also house some of the Wood Bank's equipment, such as a splitter that was acquired with grant funding. New York, Niagara Fire Prevention Week is underway Niagara Frontier Publications, nearly two-thirds of home fire deaths occurred in homes with no smoke alarms or no working smoke alarms. Burning Wood Creosote is a fire hazard. Ohio, Carrollton emergency officials say burning railroad ties pose no health concern for residents, the Carroll County Messenger it's basically wood smoke, Pavic added. Stoller said an earthen dam was created to keep water runoff from entering a nearby waterway. We don't. Wisconsin, Appleton, garage fire caused by wood-burning stove Appleton garage fire blamed on improperly installed wood-burning stove WBAY firefighters arrived wood-burning stove blamed for fire that damaged Appleton home Luck Appleton, WLUK, an improperly installed wood-burning stove was to blame for a fire that damaged a home in Appleton Wednesday, firefighters say. Wisconsin, Appleton garage fire in Appleton blamed on improperly installed wood-burning stove see for news. Smoke visible. When they entered, the walls were charred in the area surrounding a wood-burning stove. It was determined that the stove had been. Wisconsin, Appleton improperly installed wood-burning stove blamed for Appleton Garage Fire Kakana Community News The Appleton Fire Department says an improperly installed wood-burning stove started a fire Thursday in the garage of an Appleton home. Garage fire in Appleton blamed on improperly installed wood-burning stove See for News when they entered, the walls were charred in the area surrounding a wood-burning stove. It was determined that the stove had been improperly. India, Delhi farm fires impact Delhi air, but only measly Hindustan times the share of stubble burning to Delhi's PM 2.5 concentration was 3% on Wednesday, the system of air quality and weather forecasting and research. India, Delhi. Despite improved air quality, Delhi remains the most polluted Indian city, the Patriot the Patriot, IN, the PM 2.5 numbers over the past few years have shown improvement. It has come down from the usual 135 mu g m 3 five years ago. But compared to last. India, Delhi Delhi identifies 13 pollution hotspots, Anand Vihar, Dvarka, Rohini on list times now October 11, 2023 damages on Maanandi Marg, Okla State Marg, traffic jam being a major contributor to PM 2.5 concentration, and India. Delhi Delhi government teams to check air pollution at 13 hotspots Hindustan times PM 2.5. These include Anand Vihar, Mundka, Wazirpur, Jahangarpuri, R.K. Puram, Rohini, Punjabi Bog, Okla, Bawana, Vivek Vihar, Narila, Ashok Vihar India, Delhi PMO holds meet over Delhi air pollution, AQI poor, Hindustan Times particulate matter, to Delhi NCR, shooting AQI to levels unfit for breathing. On Friday, the share of stubble burning, to Delhi's PM 2.5 concentration India. Delhi top bureaucrats convene high-level meeting to tackle Delhi's pollution crisis outlook India Prime Minister, according to media reports. Mishra took the opportunity on Friday, stubble burning, contributed to just 1% of Delhi's PM 2.5 India, Mumbai Mumbai, air quality in moderate category, AQI at 166 MSN The most prominent pollutant in Navi Mumbai is PM 2.5 and PM 10. The IMD has predicted a mainly clear sky in Mumbai. Further, the Maharashtra. Singapore Hay Situation Update, October 14, 2023, NEA October 14, 2023, Singapore experienced generally fair and warm weather today. As at 5 p.m., the 1-hour p.m. 2.5 concentration readings were 11 to 26 Singapore Hay Situation Update, October 13, 2023, NEA Singapore, October 13, 2023, it was fair and warm over Singapore today.
As at 5 p.m., the 1 hour p.m. 2.5 concentration readings were 13 to 22 micrograms per cubic meter. In Band I, Singapore Haze Situation Update, October 13, 2023, weather.gov.sg, weather.gov.sg, Singapore, October 13, 2023, it was fair and warm over Singapore today. As at 5 p.m., the 1 hour p.m. 2.5 concentration readings were 13 to 22 micrograms per cubic meter. Singapore Haze Situation Update, October 12, 2023, weather.gov.sg Singapore, October 12, 2023, it was partly cloudy over Singapore today. As at 6 p.m., the 1 hour p.m. 2.5 concentration readings were 12 to 24 micrograms per cubic meter. Indoor wood burning and women's cancer risk 7 days in medicine, 4 to 10 October 2023, the BMJ. Lung cancer. Indoor wood burning raises risk in women. A U.S. study reported that using an indoor wood stove or fireplace increases women's risk of wood chipper market wood chipper rental market to cross 420.6 million U.S. dollars at Globe Newswire wood burning stoves. The demand for wood chippers remains high, catering to both residential and commercial settings. Opting to rent wood chippers. PM2.5 and type 2 diabetes AIIMS study shows PM2.5 pollutants can increase type 2 diabetes, the Indian Express. Breathing in unhealthy levels of PM2.5 has already been linked to an increase in the risk of heart disease and asthma. The key takeaway of this study. PM2.5 and Sentinel-5 P imageries assessing vulnerability of densely populated areas to air pollution using Sentinel-5 P imageries nature these pollutants include, but not limited to particulate matter, PM2.5, PM10, 